When a DSP boots up, first the programming is loaded. This builds the signal path with all of the processing blocks in the correct order. When this is complete, the DSP then needs to assign a value to the parameters in every processing block. The first step places the source selector into the DSP, but the source selector won't work until the second step assigns the parameter value that controls which source is currently selected. This file currently has source 4 selected. If this file is pushed to the DSP, the DSP will begin passing audio with source 4 as the currently selected source. If the control panel is used to change the source selector to source 7, then source 7 becomes audible. If the DSP reboots now, which source will be active after the reboot? The selected source depends on what value is assigned to the parameter after reboot, and that's controlled by the power on settings in Site Preferences. One way to access Site Preferences is to select the Tools menu and click on Site Preferences. Restore Pushed Parameter Values is on by default. With this preference on, after a reboot, all parameter values will be set to whatever value they had when this site file was pushed to the DSP. With this preference off, after a reboot, all parameter values will be set to whatever value they had immediately before the reboot. So in our example, if this is on, the source selector will be set to source 4 after the reboot. If it's off, the source selector will be set to source 7 after the reboot. There's an additional third step that can be added to the reboot process. After programming has been loaded in the first step and every parameter has been assigned in the second step, the system can also be instructed to recall a specific preset. This allows the designer to ensure that specific critical settings are always assigned correctly. 